morning guys welcome to another boot review video um, and this week we are going to be reviewing the adidas ace 17.1 in my usual adidas size of a uk 9 which is a us 9.5 um, this model basically came out in 2017 i think it was roughly to december 2017 um, it came out as a laceless version and also um, some takedown versions. This was the first takedown, obviously the 17.1, which came with the laces. Um, and essentially, um, this was kind of Adidas dabbling, um, trying to replace the Predator, basically. Uh, it was, this was down as a more of a control boot um, for that sort of time. Um, but yeah, so obviously I wore this boot yesterday, uh, I've worn this boot many times to be perfectly honest with you. Um, it's quite a comfortable boot, I've got to be honest. Um, it's obviously made of a, a primary upper, upper um, obviously sort of a almost fake leathery sort of feel to the front there and obviously this knit to, to the rear of the boot and then it's obviously covered in a silicon sort of um, layer there to keep it waterproof and watertight. Um, it sits on the uh, Adidas Sprint Frame, um, so obviously it's strange for a Sprint Frame because it's obviously got conical studs, which I actually quite like because I do like the conical studs on the boot. Um, but as I said, it, obviously this is a control skin here, it says control skin there for the A series. Um, but yeah, essentially this was the takedown, first takedown um, model. Um, I've got to say, as I said, it's, um, it's a quite a light boot. Um, as a control boot kind of goes obviously it's not down as a speed boot but it weighs in at 219 grams and uh, that equates to about 7.7 .7 ounces um, I've worn this boot quite a few times I decided to wear it yesterday for a game um, quite comfortable as I say it's quite nice to get on no it's not quite nice to get on actually it's a real pain in the ass to get on um, it's really really hugs your foot really tight um, so when you're trying to get it on obviously it's this sort of neoprene sort of material I don't know if you can see in here you've got this sort of sprint sort of reinforcement um, cage in here which obviously helps with uh, giving it a bit of structure um, but it's really super tight and once, it, once it's on it is super super comfortable um, I'll just show you the insole the insole it's got some holes in it. It's really nothing to write home about whatsoever. It is so light um, on a, on the obviously on the hardish ground at the moment in the UK. You feel that. I'm not going to lie. You do feel that. Um, I felt it when I was walking across to the pitch to that uh, yesterday. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's uh, it's not a bad boot to be perfectly honest. Um, it's quite comfortable. Um, it's got quite a bit of spring back to the to the sole plate there. Sole plate, sole plate is obviously nothing super special. Um, yes, yeah, so obviously it's just a sprint frame 2017. Um, but as I said, it's quite a nice light boot, bit retro uh, going back there. Kind of a bit of a strange silhouette. Um, but yeah, fairly comfortable boot. Um, one for the old school people really, to be honest. Um, as I said, I'll probably wear this a few more times. I do quite like it. Um, Although, to be perfectly honest, I need the ground to soften up a little bit before I wear this a bit more because, yeah, even with the conical studs yesterday, and they're quite shallow, um, it was definitely feeling that yesterday um, when I was playing on the on the hardish ground, um, which is a shame. But yeah, once you've got these on, they're actually not a bad boot. It's the actual hole. Getting them on is a major issue because they are super tight, but once they're on, they're pretty comfortable. Um, so yeah, another one of my retro boots that I've pulled out of the, out of the, out of the bin there just to stick on the old feet and wear again yesterday. Um, so yeah, if you like the video um, and you like the content and the, obviously the video review, the boot reviews and so on and so forth, then smash a like, leave some comments. Um, and as I said, if you want me to review any boots or anything like that, please let me know. Um, and we'll just keep going with this. Um, the brutally honest reviews, as I said, I know it's an old school boot, but yeah, not bad, gotta be honest. Thanks guys for watching, I'll see you soon.